Okay, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Mayday 2011. There is no energy crisis, folks. There's an overproduction crisis. People should love people and use things. Nowadays, people love things and use people. Number one, Americans are slaves to their machines. People are not machines. Men invented machines. Machines did not invent men. If you kick a machine, the machine feels no pain, so you don't have to apologize. If you kick a person, the person feels pain, so you have to apologize. That proves people are not machines. Americans are slaves to their automobiles. If Martians came down to Earth, they, they would think that the automobiles were the masters and the people were their servants. We take the automobiles to special places to f give them special kinds of fuel for food. We um, build them special places to take them to bathe. And we give them, uh, let's see, special we feed them special places and we take them to bathe. We insure them in case of accidents and we drive the automobiles out to the countryside to see the countryside. But we're too busy driving to see the countryside. Machines should be the servants and the people their masters. If we really want the machines to be the the masters no if we really want the machines to be the servants or if we really wanted the people to be the ser the masters We'd have remote control lawnmowers. 83,000 people a year are injured mowing their lawns. If you had a remote control lawnmower, you could stand on your front porch, porch push a button on the remote, the lawnmower would go down the lawn mowing the grass, push another button, it would turn, push another button to bring it back. We could put people to work building factories to make the mowers. If they're expensive, not every family needs to buy one. Twelve families could get together to buy one to share. But we don't want the machines to be the service, so that's why we don't have remote control lawnmowers. We could all be living like kings. Education is the foundation of the society. We don't have a well-educated populace. Most people are functionally illiterate. They get up, read the newspaper, they watch TV. They don't really read books, and they're not really well-educated. We have a well-duped populace. Laws should be for social convenience. Most of the laws we have protect private ownership of the means of production, and we have production for private greed, including military production for private companies that are owned by private families that are taking the money that the taxpayers are paying, so why don't we have production for social need? If we had production for social need, then we would all be living like kings. There's no energy crisis, there's an overproduction crisis, there's no production of automobiles, no military equipment, there's no military equipment ever made, not used in a war somewhere. The desert crisis, Iranian desert crisis under Carter proves that. It's unethical to sell intoxicants or weapons, and yet we sell weapons all over the world. We're the number one arms supplier in the world. The U.S. is also the number one manufacturer of torture equipment and exporter. It has supported every fascist government since World War II. Why? Well, because we hired a bunch of Nazis to work for us in the CIA. Who started the Cold War and got us supporting every fascist government since World War II. We have sown the wind, and now we are reaping the whirlwind, and that includes the tornadoes. May God have mercy 